We are honored to have Tom Gossam with us today to deliver our graduation address. Mr. Gossam was a wide receiver for the Auburn Tigers from 1972 to 1974 and was the first African-American athlete to graduate from Auburn University in 1975. After receiving his degree in communications from Auburn, he continued his education, earning a master's degree in communications from the University of Montevallo. In the 1980s, he began a storied career as an actor, appearing in popular television series, including In the Heat of the Night, NYPD Blue, The West Wing, and Boston Legal, as well as films, including Mrs. Evers' Boys and Fight Club. In 2008, Mr. Gossam also published a memoir, Walk On, My Reluctant Journey to Integration, which chronicled his time as an athlete at Auburn University. Currently, he serves as president of Best Girl Incorporated, a public relations and marketing firm that he created in 2004. He is also working on A Slice of Life, the first volume in a trilogy of life stories. Please welcome Tom Gossam as he offers a charge to the graduates. War Eagle. I'd like to thank Dr. Taylor for the introduction. Thank the Board of Trustees, President Guz, Provost, administrators, deans, faculty, families, and most importantly, you, the graduates. On March 18, 1975, as Dr. Taylor mentioned, I sat where you're sitting and became the first African American athlete to graduate from the university. It was a minor milestone in our history, but it was important to me, it was important to my family, and it was important to the Auburn family for many, many reasons. That day I had ideas of what I wanted to do with my life, but I can honestly tell you that I never dreamed that I would be sharing this moment with you 38 years later. So I want to thank you for allowing me to share this moment with you. As an actor, I've learned that there are moments in our lives. There are moments that we can never recreate, we can never do over. There are once in a lifetime moments that occur. As an actor, I've worked on television shows. I worked on In the Heat of the Night for six years. I've worked on shows for three months, sometimes three weeks, sometimes a week. And I, lately, I worked on a show called Drop Dead Diva, which airs tomorrow night on Lifetime, and I was there for one day. <laughs> the thing about it is that when you're there, you form these relationships with people. And it may be a one-day relationship, it may be a three-day relationship, but you get to know them and they get to know you. And at the end of that period of time, you, you exchange contact information because you always say you're going to get together. But then we never do. And I don't know why. You know, we leave the make-believe world and we go back to our lives. And so what I've learned to do is to take that which I had thought at one time was a negative and turn it into the positive of it's a moment. And it's a moment that we share. And so I want to thank you for allowing me to share this moment with you. I'd like to talk for a few minutes about Hollywood and a film that you graduates would get to make, the film of your life. For a little bit of background, there are three acts to a film. The first act is the setup. Something springs our character into action. The second act is the dilemma. Our character works through this dilemma and we suffer with this character as it works through this dilemma. And the third act, of course, is the resolution, which we hope will be a happy ending. So we're going to name our film The Intangible Asset. Now, whether you are a doctoral, a master's, or a bachelor's graduate, for many of you, today symbolizes the end of act one of your life. You're now being springboarded into act two. And so the beautiful thing about the film of your life is you get to write the script you get to determine what happens to you, the protagonist. 
as you progress into act two of your script, your lead character, you, will work through different plot points and character arcs that nudge, push, and force choices, changes, and decisions as you face dilemmas, opportunities, obstacles, marriage, challenges, children, love, and unforeseen circumstances. But also as a result of Act One, today, your character will possess the intangible asset of the Auburn brand. You see, this asset, the Auburn brand, like any asset, gains in value depending upon what you do with it. Now let me tell you how this asset has worked in my life. As I've written the script of my life and played out my act two over the years, whether I was attempting to play professional football in Boston or Buffalo, acting in Los Angeles, publishing in Detroit, consulting in Alabama, Florida, or working as a sports analyst all across Canada, my character carried this intangible asset the Auburn brand spoke volumes about me regardless of what state, country, or profession I was working in. What the Auburn brand has said about me over the years, sometimes before I even met the individuals who I had to interact with, what it said about me was that I was a quality person, a hard worker, someone a coach could entrust with his own goals, aspirations, and family fortunes. Someone a film director could rely on to nail a scene as we were working into the 15th hour of the day and everybody was tired and everybody wanted to go home and all they want you to do, Tom, is to nail this scene. Someone who would take the path less traveled. Someone an executive could count on to produce a service and deliver it on time and with a high level of quality someone who is a good teammate, someone, as the creed says, with a sound mind, body, and spirit. A few years ago in Los Angeles, we had a party coordinated through the School of Liberal Arts, and it was for all those individuals in Los Angeles who were in the business, the business of Hollywood. We'd all graduated from Auburn, and there were about 40 people who showed up which was a big contingency for us because the big contingencies in Los Angeles and Hollywood are Harvard and Yale and NYU and Columbia, Northwestern and USC and UCLA and the University of Texas. But we had about 40 people who were working in the business. Some were in front of the camera, some behind. Some were on the creative end of things, some were strictly business. But we got to sharing the stories about how we had gotten there. And we all had different stories about what had taken us from Auburn to Los Angeles. Just like we all have different stories in this room as to how we have arrived to this day in our lives. There was an immeasurable amount of pride in that room as we shared our stories with each other. In football lingo, we'd all walked on to the Hollywood scene and we had made it work for us. It was one of my proudest moments in Hollywood. What we had in common was the intangible asset, the Auburn brand. So whatever story you write for your life from here on, whether it's to go back to your hometown or to move to some exotic location, whether you decide to take the local or the scenic route to life, whether you go to work in the family business or as a young friend of mine did three years ago, graduate, pack up the car and drive to Northern California because he wants to become a winemaker. The brand, Auburn University, can and will help you write the second act of your life. Your graduation today, your experiences here will be represented in the physical symbol of a degree. But the intangible asset now resides inside you. So, what kind of screenplay will you write for yourself? Will you write yourself an Oscar winner? Will you write a Golden Globe nominee, a drama, a comedy? 
Most importantly, will you write yourself a happy ending? Thank you so much for letting me share this moment with you. Love, peace, and War Eagle.